What does contouring and highlighting mean? You can use contouring to make a white face look slimmer. Or a big nose look smaller. Or a high forehead look shorter. Contouring simply alters your facial features in seconds. What tools do you need for the perfect contouring and highlighting? For highlighting, you'll need a foundation that is two shades lighter than your skin. For contouring, you'll need a foundation that is two shades darker than your skin. You will also need a fluffy brush, your regular facial powder, your matte bronzer, and your contouring brush. Now, let's get started. Keep your hair pulled back when you're contouring and highlighting in order to see your facial features very well. When we contour, we contour exactly on the bones of our face. The jawbone, the nose bone, the cheekbone, the temples, and the forehead. This is exactly where we contour using the foundation that is two shades darker than our skin. We contour the bones of our faces in order to enhance our facial features and in order to give our faces more of a structure. This structure will make us look more slim and will make our faces more photogenic. This is how you contour the sides of the nose. This is how you make your forehead look smaller, by contouring it this way. Once you're done with the contouring, do not blend yet, because the contouring provides a guideline of where you're going to highlight. Basically, you're going to highlight an inverted triangle under the eye, center of the nose, center of the chin, as well as the center of the forehead. With the foundation that is two shades lighter than our skin, we're going to fill in the gaps between the contouring lines. Draw an inverted triangle under both eyes, dragging it to the sides. Highlight the center of the nose, the center of the forehead, as well as the center of the chin. Now you drew your face map and now we're ready to blend it. Start blending your highlighting and contouring lines using your sponge or your beauty blender. The darker lines will turn lighter and the lighter lines will turn darker and eventually both lines are going to match into your skin color. Fast tapping motion. and make sure there are no harsh lines whatsoever. Dab some powder on the areas you highlighted. With your contouring brush, 
Apply your matte bronzer on the areas you contoured to enhance your look. If you find any harsh lines on your face, just use a fluffy brush and brush it over quickly in a circular motion. This is how I looked before I contoured and highlighted my face. This is after contouring and highlighting. You can definitely see how my facial structures altered and how my face looked slimmed down as if I lost weight. Always remember that your contouring and highlighting should never show because once it shows, it defies its purpose. Stay tuned, stay beautiful.